Hello, my name is Jay, and I'm a supervisor. And in my contact center, quite often I hear, why do I take so many more calls than Sally does? Well, it's Beth. And what Beth doesn't know is, she may have a skill that Sally doesn't have. So let's take a look at skills and maybe we can figure out why Beth takes so many more calls than Sally. So first, let's figure out what is a skill, and then we'll create one. We'll talk a little bit about proficiency versus desire to use, and then I'll add a user from the skill container. I'll then add a skill to a user in the user container, and we'll finish up with adding a skill to a work group from the work group container. So let's get started. I'll first need to be in the skill container, which looks like I already am. And I need to select this green plus sign. And we'll add a new skill. Now, what is a skill? Well, a skill can be a language, so it could be like French or Spanish. Uh, a skill can also be a license, like, I don't know, the ability to um, practice insurance in the state of Kentucky, that type of thing. So I'm going to make a language. And I'm going to make it, well, Klingon. Now, Klingon being a language, I may not want to give it to a full work group, because if I give a language to a work group, I'm sort of assuming that that whole work group speaks Klingon to the same level or to the same proficiency. So let's give the language of Klingon to Beth. So if I scroll down here to the user portion, I can go find Beth. So Beth speaks Klingon. And maybe Beth speaks Klingon with the proficiency of, I don't know, 10. Now, if we were in custom ACD, I'd be talking a little bit about desire to use, but this is basic ACD. And again, let's just work with proficiency and saying, well, she speaks uh, Klingon at the level of 10, while well, maybe Linda, let me go find Linda here real quick. Oh, maybe Linda speaks Klingon to the level of, I don't know, three. So Beth should get more calls uh, even Klingon calls than Linda should. I can also add a work group here in the skill container and I can say maybe, I don't know, the Colorado skill, this work group has it. So now domestic travel has the skill of Colorado. All right, let me save that and let's go look at skills now in the user container. So I'll select users and let's give the skill, I don't know, let's give Howard Fisher a skill, so again, I'm in the ACD tab here. Let's give Howard the skill of oh, Klingon. So I'll select Add, find Klingon, and there's the skill of Klingon for Howard. Here are all the skills he's inheriting from somewhere else. I gave him a new one, I gave him Klingon. We can also do this at the work group level. So at the work group, I can say travel services, domestic travel. Again, the ACD tab's open for me. I'll say skills. And maybe they have the skill, I don't know, of Alaska or Texas. And that's adding a skill to the work group in the work group container. So that's skills. And maybe that's why Beth is getting so many more calls than Sally.